know your household, I'ma come and call, no one take the call, just like the snow. See your girl jockey, yeah, got the power rocket. Get your head out, dick it, get your head out. See your girl jockey, yeah, got the power rocket. Get your head out, dick it, get your head out. What's cracking? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm not even going to do a long ass intro. If you read the title, you know what the fuck we're getting into today. We're going to be working on this bitch, and we're going to be making this hood an active arrow hood. So, well, it shouldn't be too too hard should be pretty straightforward not 100 sure if i have the right drill bits at least for when it comes to drilling the holes in the actual hood um but i do have the right drill bits for the plastic grill so we're at least going to get the plastic grill done if not we have a home depot literally right on the other side over there um so be a hop skip and a jump to go get the parts we need and stuff we need um but yeah, let's pop this hood open and get right into it. Hopefully, this comes off first try. Hopefully. Really hoping it comes off first try. Let's see. Cool. It did. <laughs> Was not thinking it would, but thank the gods it did. Don't really care about the 3M like tape. Bolts will keep it down enough. And if I'm going to be making an active air hood, obviously that means we want air to be going in. So... Uh, let's see. Okay. Cool. Now we just need to clean all this up because that is dirtier than a motherfucker. I don't know how a spot that... How is a spot that is completely covered this fucking dirty? I don't understand that shit. But fuck it. We're going to clean it and get back to it. somewhat more clean I mean obviously we're not gonna spend the time getting all this off at least not right now because I really kind of don't care um, it's sitting in the forerunner but we do have uh, rust uh, prevention paint and like all that the rust oleum and all that so I think I am gonna uh, probably put some in each of these little holes uh, just because I am seeing a little bit of rust in some of them uh, come over here kind of see it a little bit more um, so I'll probably be putting some rust on on those or rust uh, protection rust-oleum on those uh, so yeah as far as getting that shit ready like I said we're gonna at least start with this um, get the holes drilled into here um, into the little makeshift grill um, and then we're gonna work on that so let's get into it I think we're not gonna take this whole thing off because I don't know if you guys can kind of see that there's these little pegs right here and there's little clamps on these pegs uh, kind of looks like the only way I'm gonna get them off is if I break them off don't really want to break them off because I don't know what the fuck they are to put them back on so uh, not only that but uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. 
Oh, yeah, you guys can see it real good. Um, so there's this bar right here that goes across it that is actually kind of covering some of these top or these these top holes. So uh, I think what we're gonna do is just pretty much I'm just gonna drill all the holes around this little part or this little bar part. Um, that way we'll still get air coming in through this grill. Um, and then that way we don't have to worry about taking these clamps off. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. See if I can get this to focus and show you guys. But as you guys can see, getting the holes in there. Um, again, as y'all saw, I tried to make a few over here on this side first. Um, well, not tried, but I did. As you can see, I hit that third one, and then that was kind of like on that little bar that's on the other side. Uh, so right now, I'm just trying to like kind of make some so i know how low i can get which ones to not hit it as you guys can bleh, as you guys can kind of see um i mean i can go pretty high up i mean that bar is kind of high up i mean so we're gonna have to pretty much drill most of these holes so i'm not gonna film me drilling every single fucking hole so i will get back to you guys when i am done drilling holes got most of the holes drilled in um as you guys can see there's gonna be some areas where i'm not gonna be able to because they kind of interfere with like certain little like uh, i guess you could say structural things for it but got majority of it done uh yeah then next thing we're gonna do at least right now is i'm gonna tape all of this off just so i can get a little template uh, or make a little template off of it and uh, that way I can know exactly where I want to drill my holes for it right here because I really don't feel like just cutting this whole section out I don't have a drill or none of that to be able to do that shit um, that would be easier um, I do have a homie that might be able to do it but I'm not 100% sure on that so we'll, we'll see how that ends up going, but most likely I'm just gonna end up just drilling holes. Uh, plus I would like to just do holes anyway because I don't want the holes to just be, my bad, fucking wind keeps fucking things up. Gotta keep on restarting the clip and shit. But uh, so the plan is, is to, uh, I wanna put like some kind of fabric or something uh, behind the holes and stuff on the hood, uh, both, both sets, well, the hood and the hood scoop. Uh, just so that it helps with any debris that comes in it won't make it so that the debris goes straight onto my motor uh so i'm gonna see if i can go down to like uh joann's or something i know that sounds kind of weird but uh i have ha you know so for those of you who don't know or if it's not clear enough from you know the illustrations on my channel uh i am a graphic designer and stuff like that so but when i was going to uh, college and everything uh i did a project where i had to learn how to do screen printing and there's been times uh, since college where I've done some kind of like hood ratty ghetto screen printing. It's in the sense of <laughs> not using proper screens uh, just because uh, I don't I didn't feel like having to rebuy screens. So what I would do was go and get like this kind of like netty kind of fabric that was a similar like stitch to the screens on a screen print uh, screen printing uh, frame. And I would use those and then I would just staple them back onto the frames and bada bing boo bam we have a new uh screen printing frame uh that's ready to go and that's blank uh so i think that's kind of going to be the same uh material that i'm going to use for this um just because it would make it pretty easy it would make it so that plenty of air would still go through all the holes and everything um and make it so that debris wouldn't be able to get in as easily so yeah when i'm able to get those next clips going and doing all that stuff I will be recording all of that and hopefully getting this whole video up soon-ish. Um, 
I don't have three days off uh, a week anymore. Uh, finally got a fifth day, so I'm making a little bit more money. Uh, and uh, so yeah, we'll get to them when we can. And yeah. Feeling good, feeling great, feeling out my mind.